My name is Ellen Lennox Smith. I live in the state of Rhode Island. Hello, my name is Richard Miller, and I am a cannabis patient. Hi, yes, I'm Carla Basanti. I am 54 years old. Hi, my name is Amy Mellon. I am originally from Portland, Oregon. Hello, my name is Tammy O'Fallon. Uh, I'm from Tennessee. My name is Christine Stenquist, and my, I'm a medical cannabis patient. In 1996, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor, an acoustic neuroma. It's a benign, slow-growing tumor. I was having symptoms when I was working at a hospital. As I was walking specimens back from the lab, I had a shot of pain across my face. Um, I had passed out. When I awoke, I was a patient in the emergency room with my colleagues standing around me. Um, went through some testing, and that's when they discovered the tumor basically decided I was going to start using cannabis medicinally when I was starting to get prescribed so many different medications um, for my MS. Um, and then when I have a symptom from a medication, I would have secondary symptoms, they would prescribe another medication, and therefore I started really um, changing, changing into somebody I really didn't like or, or didn't know how to take care of while I was a single mother. So here I was raising a child on my own and I needed to make some changes in regards to my health so I was more present in my child's life. I continued to go through Western medicine not thinking that I was a patient because I wasn't dying. When in fact, I actually was dying because I had been on pharmaceuticals at that point for almost 40 years. After about five years of going through Western medicine, I found the inability to recover and I found that I was myself wasting away. I ended up having to lose my career as a teacher and it instantly as an older person, I started this at 54, I realized that I decided to use my voice to help other people not be afraid of cannabis, understand that there was uh, a chance for quality of life in a safe way with no side effects. Um, in time, I actually did have DNA drug sensitivity testing done to show that all these years of my life I had been reacting to all sorts of medications. I literally was not metabolizing any of the opiates, any, uh, aspirin, Tylenol, Benadryl, and the list goes on and on. So here I finally found something that my body could metabolize and has given me quality of life back.